I went from being broke to making my first million dollars online at the age of 18. I'm actually 19 now at the time of making this video because my birthday was a few weeks ago, but I did hit my first million online a few months ago when I was still 18. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is Jihan Park and I'm going to be going over exactly how I went from not even having a car to drive and living in a small rundown apartment, driving my dream car, which I recently just bought, and also living in a high rise apartment in Miami. Just a quick disclaimer, there's a lot of people on social media who fake their story on how they made it but this video is not scripted at all i'm literally just gonna sit down and go over my exact story on how i was able to do it and hopefully this is able to inspire you guys motivate you guys and also help you guys on starting your own journeys as well just to give you guys some background i come from an immigrant family we moved from korea not north korea south korea to the united states when i was seven years old and i'm gonna be completely honest we weren't completely broke but we didn't have that much money either. This might sound like your basic come up stories. Growing up as a kid here wasn't easy. I would always get bullied in school for things that I couldn't control, like my race or not having that much money, wearing the same clothes every day, and you know, just stuff like that. This was mainly in middle school. In high school, it got a lot better. I was a broke immigrant kid going to rich kid schools. One of the main things that I actually got bullied for was my teeth. As you guys can see, I got braces now, but back then I didn't have braces and all the kids at my school would always make fun of them. And the thing was, I would always come home and cry to my sister. If you guys don't know, I have a sister. She's like a year older than me. And there was nothing I could do about it because my family could not afford for me to get braces. So one of the first things I actually did when I started making money is getting these braces. They were $8,000, not that cheap. I don't have dental insurance or anything. So they're pretty expensive, but for me, is something that I always wanted to do. Anyways, all throughout middle school, when there's like a holiday, like Christmas, birthdays, or um, Easter, whatever it is, I would always see kids in my class, which are just my friends, come to school and talking about like their new gifts, their new presents that they got. And I would literally just watch them and just be sad because growing up, I didn't get anything. We didn't celebrate any of my birthdays, any Christmas gifts, that, that was really rare. I think maybe, I got like a gift card once, but other than that, like it wasn't really a holiday for me or my family. And all my friends would be talking about how they got the new PS4, the new Xbox, and they would ask me to hop on the game and I would just not be able to just because I didn't have one myself. And whenever my friends wanted to hang out, my parents were always busy at their work. Well, my mom didn't work, but my dad worked basically like the whole day and my mom didn't want to drive me. And so it was very hard to have any like close friends with me because I could never hang out with them. And so I was basically on my own for a very long time. This is when I knew at a young age that I needed to find a way to make money so that I can actually enjoy my life like everyone else was doing. Now, when I got to high school, things started to change. I was actually old enough to start driving, start working and start making my own money. And so I actually applied to like three or four jobs. I applied to Chick-fil-A first, then Chipotle, then to like these two other fast food restaurants. And I actually got denied for all of them because I didn't have a reliable source of transportation. Just imagine how down bad you have to be to not even get accepted to work at McDonald's. That's crazy. My parents had a car that I could drive, but they didn't want me to because they thought if I would start driving, then I'd start hanging out with my friends, actually having fun and, and would get distracted from school. And so I had to either borrow my sister's car or get a ride from one of my friends in order to get to work, which I had to tell the managers when I was applying. And and then finally, I applied to Panera. If you guys don't know what that is, it's, it's another fast food restaurant. And this time, they actually accepted me. I borrowed money from either my friends or one of my family members, I forgot. And I got an Uber to go to the interview after school. And a couple days later, they actually got back to me and I got the job as like a cashier or, or like the, as one of like the cashiers or the associates, I think they called it. I would just start working here every day after school on the weekends, literally every single day for maybe 30 hours a week while going to school when I was 16. All my other friends were just messing around, partying, having fun, playing games. And I would always just go to school, go to work, sleep, and do the same thing every single day. Now, I did this for around like two to three months. And towards the end, I actually ended up getting into a car accident while coming home from my girlfriend's house. It wasn't my fault, I didn't hit anyone, it was just raining really badly and my car hydroplane. It basically slipped on the water on the road and I crashed into the grass. The car that I was driving was like a 2009 Hyundai, so the damages were only like a thousand dollars 
but since the car itself was only worth like five thousand, my insurance decided to just total it and i didn't have any coverage and i couldn't afford to fix the car so i just lost my car because of this i lost my job and also my girlfriend at the time and this is actually like one of the lowest points of my life because things were going pretty good i was working i was getting a decent amount of money saved and you know i had a girlfriend and then i lost it all in a matter of like a day now at this point i had like four or five hundred dollars in my bank account i didn't really know what to do because i couldn't go to work anymore and after the car accident my parents didn't let me out the house at all and so i tried getting a setup to start streaming to start doing youtube and stuff but i didn't have the money and so what i basically did was i went up to my dad and i actually asked him can you buy me like a macbook for school i'll give you four hundred dollars and the rest i'll give to you when I get a job again and he actually said yes and so we went to Best Buy we bought the MacBook and my parents thought it was for school obviously I got it to start playing games and start doing YouTube and stuff a PC would have obviously been better but there's no way they're gonna let me buy that and so I just had to finesse by doing this and so I started playing games I started posting on YouTube Twitch uh TikTok, and i actually started blowing up and getting a decent amount of followers i got millions of views and i grew like a decent fan base off of playing like minecraft and valorant some of you guys might actually know me from back then shout out to you guys but my parents obviously eventually found out about it when i was screaming at 3 a.m instead of doing my homework and bef instead of sleeping for school i was just screaming and they thought I was just messing around. But for me, I was trying to make a career off of it, but they didn't understand that. They thought I was just playing games. And so they just took my MacBook up and just shut off the Wi-Fi. And so I literally couldn't continue streaming or pursuing that anymore, which made things even worse because doing that was actually my dream job that I always wanted to do. But you know, it came to an end. Now, the main way I actually blew up and got all my views when I was doing this was mainly from TikTok. I would upload my stream highlights and post clips on TikTok and get tons of views from it that would channel it towards my stream or my YouTube. I did this a long time before anyone like Kai Sinat or Aiden Ross or, you know, the bald guy did it, which sucks because I was ahead of the game. But unfortunately, it had to stop. But anyway, now that I didn't have anything to do again, I was researching online about a lot of different online businesses that I could start with just my phone and also my school laptop. And so the main businesses that I saw when I Googled or researched on TikTok or social media was just affiliate marketing, dropshipping, and Amazon. Now, to me, Amazon, it takes too much money to start. I, I didn't have four to $6,000 laying around. I can't make an LLC, I'm too young. That wasn't really an option. And affiliate marketing, your profits are way too low. It's not really something that you can make decent money off of. And I saw job shipping and it was basically where you just uploaded TikToks and Instagram reels of your product on social media and try to go viral and get sales from it. And so it just made sense for me to start job shipping. You didn't even need that much money to start either, unlike businesses like Amazon. I tried job shipping for a month or two on two different products and they both failed. I didn't make any sales. So like everyone else, I just quit and I thought that dropshipping was dead. And I just went back to my everyday life, just going to school and just sitting at home doing nothing. Then maybe a few weeks to a month later, I was actually sitting in one of my classes at school. It's my theater class. In high school, there's classes where you only have it with your grade level. And there's some classes that you can have with all grade levels at your school. And so this was one of those classes. This is my theater class, first period period at my high school I will never forget this I was just sitting in class listening to the teacher talk about some random stuff while I'm on my phone and I saw this 14 year old kid he's a freshman at the time in ninth grade I was a senior I'm in 12th grade and he was just watching a YouTube video about drop shipping I heard it and I was like there's no way because this is the first time I've actually ever seen someone in person know about drop shipping and so I went up to him and I was like yo there's no way you know about drop shipping too bro and then he was just like yeah, I tried it earlier this summer, but I got a couple of sales, but it didn't really go too far. And so he was talking about how he quit as well. And so I told him, yeah, I quit doing it as well because I didn't really get any sales. And we just basically just started talking about business and job shipping, just the rest of the class. And we actually agreed to meet up later that weekend on Saturday and Sunday to try job shipping one more time. We met up later that week on Saturday at my apartment office building because both our parents didn't want us doing this at their house or my house or whatever and so we just met up at my apartment office i had to walk across the highway from my apartment to the office building just walk across the street there's not even a crosswalk but i just had to do it 
because no excuses. You just got to do what you got to do. I'm pretty sure his dad wouldn't drive him. And so he actually had his granddad drive him every single weekend as well. A lot of kids our age would not have been willing to do anything even close to what we did. But we met up and we started doing the first step of dropshipping all over again, which is finding a winning product. Now, while you guys are setting up your Shopify store, you need to make sure to connect or add a supplier onto it so that once you start getting your first sales or your first orders, you can actually fulfill it with a supplier. Now, there's obviously a lot of suppliers out there, but the one that I personally use and recommend is called AutoDS. Yes, they are sponsoring this video, which I'm lucky to say because I've used them on a lot of my stores in the past and they've been able to fulfill a lot of orders and make it very easy. Now, here's why I think they are better than most suppliers out there. Now, firstly, unlike most suppliers out there like AliExpress, it will not take months for your customer to receive their order. And secondly, as you guys can see, they actually have a resource inside that helps you find winning products as well. And lastly, and most importantly, why most decide to go with AutoDS is the fact that they have auto fulfillment. So when you get an order, you can actually have AutoDS fulfill it for you without you having to even click anything at all and they ship it straight to your customer. So let's say you're running one store, you never have to worry about fulfilling any of the products. And if you guys run multiple stores like I do, sometimes it's a little hard to keep up with all the different stores and all the different orders. And so having a supplier like AutoDS makes it so all your orders are fulfilled right away once your customer places the order and you never have to worry about it again. Anyway, shout out to AutoDS. I think they're one of the best resources out there. If you guys wanna try them out for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can try it out for 30 days completely free and you guys can see for yourself whether or not you like it. So here is exactly how I was able to find my first successful product that made me $40,000 in a single month, which right now isn't as crazy as it was before. But you know, at the time, it's a big number. So a lot of you guys out there still somehow have no clue about this and still have no clue on how to find a winning product at all. And so here's exactly what we did for this one. So the first thing you need to do is go on your phone, which as you guys can see, it's actually 3 a.m. right now when I'm making this. Anyway, you wanna go on TikTok and you wanna create a brand new account. Now, once you guys have the account set up, what you guys are basically gonna do is interact with dropshipping product advertisements or videos. A lot of people try using hashtags to research products, but that's honestly not good at all because it limits how many advertisements that you can see because not all advertisements have hashtag Amazon finds or hashtag TikTok made me buy it. So instead, it's just better to have your whole account categorized as if you're a consumer or a customer that's wanting to buy a dropshipping product. That way you see every video or advertisements out there of every single dropshipping product instead of only those that are under a hashtag or used with a hashtag. Now, since it's a new account, it's gonna take a couple minutes of scrolling until you find your first dropshipping product video. But once you do, make sure you interact with it, like it, comment on it, save it, scroll left and check out the profile. And you just wanna keep doing this until your For You page is only recommending you dropshipping product videos. Now, once this is done, you basically wanna scroll through until you see a product in the video that's actually good. Now, how do you know if the product's actually good? You need to have some sort of product criteria or requirement list where you want the product to have as many of these requirements as possible. So some examples of my product requirements that I used to find my first winning product was having firstly good profit margins and secondly, providing some sort of value whether it's being useful, which is the most common one that people look for. And a lot of you guys don't know, but entertainment is also a source of value that a lot of my winning products now have. And lastly, it's just for the product to not be saturated and for it to not be sold in retail stores like your local shops or stores like Walmart, Target, whatever the case is. Now, what I did was I created a list of 10 to 20 products that met as many of the requirements as possible. Now, out of all the potential winning products on the list, I actually decided on the best one, which if you guys were wondering what one of my first ever successful products were, it's actually this phone case gun. Now, out of all the products on the list that I could have chosen, I actually was able to use the resource that was able to help me decide on this product instead of all the other ones that might have not worked. Now, the one that I use is this one called Shop Hunter, which as you guys can see on the screen, it basically is an ad spy tool, which as you guys can see, it lets you track winning products and see how they're doing. They give you a lot of information and updates on the best current products that are selling right now. They show you a lot of winning products and niches, home goods, jewelry, gym, lifestyle, clothing, and 
everything else. Now, one of my favorite and one of the best features they actually have is being able to track your competitor's stores or other people's stores. As you guys can see, you can click add shop here and you are literally able to see how a Shopify store is doing. This magic sofa cover store, they're actually doing pretty good, $5,000 to $8,000 a day. But as you guys see, in the last month, their sales actually decreased almost by half and they're declining. Being able to track competitor stores is useful for this exact reason is because if their sales are declining, then you know that the product is getting saturated and the sales are dying out. So you know to avoid it and not go with it. Instead, you want to find one where the sales either are consistent or are slowly going up. And if you go down as well, you can click to view on the store. You can find it on AliExpress and you see every order that they get, which color, which version, which variant, so that you guys know which one to actually sell or advertise or to go with. But you can actually click to track the store as well. It adds it to your track stores, which helps you keep updated with multiple products and multiple stores at once so you know which is the best to go with. Now, I like being completely transparent with you guys. Yes, they did sponsor this video, but I would never promote something that I've never actually used myself or something that isn't actually useful. And as you guys can see, it's pretty good. So I would recommend that you guys actually try using Shop Hunter yourself so that you can actually have the best chance of finding the best possible winning product to go with anyways after verifying it with both my product criteria slash requirement list and also verifying it with a sales tracker such as shop hunter i was able to be more confident and more sure that the product now doing this instead of just guessing made it so i'm actually researching and using logic and reasoning behind my product selection instead of just guessing into a random product which will get you no sales now once i have my winning product i had to go set up my shopify store which i can also leave a link down below for you guys to sign up for literally just one dollar a month now, as you guys can see, it is actually a dollar a month and you just want to enter in your email and click start free trial. Now, after you enter in your email, it's going to ask you all these questions. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. You can click skip all. They're only using that for their own information and it won't affect how your store is in any way. Then you just click next. And then obviously you just wanna set up your password, basic stuff. Now, to be completely honest, most of setting up a Shopify store is pretty much self-explanatory, but I'll go over all the important details with you guys. Now, as you guys can see, here's actually a pretty good example of a decent Shopify store. As you guys see, it's branded. They have their own customizable logo and they have a pretty good offer on the announcement bar, new year, better sleep, subscribe and save 20%. They're using high quality images. Now you don't need to have your logo on the images when you're starting out. You can just use any images that are pretty good. Now, firstly, their store is a one product store. Usually one product stores are way better for conversions than niche stores or general stores or multiple product stores. So I almost always recommend one product stores. And as you guys can see, they have their product first, they have their variant, then they have their offer or bundle. And you wanna have these sort of questions and answers instead of the dimensions of your product, like how long or wide it is, because no one really cares about that. You should be answering important questions such as these that people actually wanna know. And then you can have another image with text. Now, personally, I would put a short video, so basically a two to three second GIF showcasing the product before the first image with text or after the two image with text, but they decided to go with a chart instead, which is perfectly fine. And it's mostly because their products, some gummy bears that you consume. You don't really need a video of gummy bears. Anyway, after you guys have that, you can add an FAQ like they did, but usually you just wanna go ahead and add some customer reviews. And as you guys can see, all the reviews that they have on the front page are ones with images. So you guys can actually pin the best reviews that include images. As you guys can see, there's a pin option. Now what this basically does, it, it gives trust to your customers who are looking to buy it. Obviously you're probably some random social media page that they just found. And so they don't really know if you actually ship out your orders or not. If you pin the reviews with images of the customer actually getting the product, they feel safe from ordering from you and actually receiving the product. Now your question probably right now is, how am I gonna get reviews if I'm just starting out and just selling it? Well, you can actually import reviews 
from other websites like AliExpress, Amazon, whatever the case is, or you can actually just copy and paste and create your own reviews on your Shopify store. You can do either one, they both work. Now, after I set up my Shopify store with my product, you have to verify it. Now, at the time I was under 18, so I either had one of my family members verify it, or I also had any of my friends, family members verified as well. So either one works. If you're under 18, just find someone to verify it for you. If you're over 18, you shouldn't have any issues. Now that I'm over 18, I verify my own store, so no issues issues with that. Also, if you guys needed a more in-depth or detailed video on how to actually set up your Shopify store, I actually already made one. So I'll either put a link to it or I'll put it on the page somewhere for you guys to check out after this video. But anyway, yes, your Shopify store and your product is very important. But the last and most important part is actually your marketing and your advertising. This is what's going to separate you from getting zero sales to getting hundreds and thousands of sales. Now, there's two main ways to market your product. You can either do what's called organic marketing, which is actually what I did with this product in my first ever successful store, or you can go with paid advertising on either TikTok or Facebook. How do you actually know which one to start with? Well, if you have a lower budget, so let's say under a thousand dollars, I'd probably recommend starting with organic marketing. If you have more than like, let's say a thousand to two thousand dollars, then I recommend trying out paid advertising. At the time, I didn't have that much because I just got fired from my job at Panera, which I actually started with organic marketing. And once I made my first 10K, I actually reinvested the profit office into running paid advertising now that I had the capital to spend. But for those of you guys who don't know what organic marketing is, it's basically where you make TikToks and Instagram reels of your product and try to go as viral as possible. So people check out your profile from your video and click on your link and actually buy your product. Now this might sound kind of crazy, but my first ever TikTok on this account actually hit half a million views. A lot of people think that getting views on social media is luck, but I'm telling you guys right now, there's actually a process behind it in which you can go viral almost every single time on any product, any niche, any account, which I'll be going over with you guys right now. Obviously, you guys are probably not going to get half a million views on your first ever video or advertisement. Like I said, I already had a little bit of experience posting on social media, understanding how it works and learning about the algorithm. But here is exactly how I was able to actually do it. So the number one thing that I think is most important when trying to go viral on social media is how much engagement you can actually get. Now, obviously, there's a lot of different forms of engagement engagement, such as liking the video, commenting, saving, sharing. But the one I'm actually talking about is the comments. So just think about it. When someone is commenting on the video, whether it's on Instagram or TikTok, they usually have the video continuously playing in the background as they're typing the comment. Since the video is playing multiple times as a background, it increases your retention, which is basically how long someone views your video for. They usually view it a couple of times in the back while they're commenting. And then you also get another boost from the actual comments itself there's also another chance that someone else will comment under the comment, either responding to it or asking about it or just commenting in general. So one of the best ways to go viral is to actually do this and get as much engagement with your comments as possible so that people start discussions, people ask a lot of stuff, people answer a lot of stuff. And then that way your retention goes up as well. And social media platforms love when you get engagement, retention, and also they think that if you get more comments, then it's more interactive and that people like to stay on the video longer and everything. And so it gives you a huge boost and you also get recommended on the For You page a lot more. I'm about to give you guys some real game on how my first ever dropshipping product video on that account got half a million views. So inside of the TikTok, I'm basically showcasing the phone case. And obviously, as you guys can see on the back, there's a certain substance that I obviously can't say, but you guys don't know what it is. And I put that there on purpose in order to get engagement, in order for people to comment about it. And obviously it worked. People started commenting. People are like, what is, what's on the back of your phone? What is that? Like, that's sus. And so I got a lot of comments and engagement. And that's the main reason why I ended up getting half a million views on that video. Now, here's the crazy part that no one is going to tell you and that you guys probably did not expect. From that video that got 500,000 views, I made a total of, I'll let you guys guess, zero sales. Usually on a video that gets that many views, you get at least like 10 to 50 sales. So like a couple hundred to a thousand or two dollars in sales, but I got zero. The reason is because the video went viral for the wrong reasons. People were not actually interested in the product. They were just making fun of the video and just commenting about it instead of actually wanting to buy the product. And so I actually learned a lot from this, which I never would have even thought that a video that gets 500,000 views would just get no sales. Now, this is why it's important to actually learn from your mistakes 
when you're starting a business. This is what I learned that it's not about just going viral, but also going viral for the right reason and not just getting a million views, but getting a million high quality views that actually matter and will actually get you sales. So instead, I completely changed my marketing angle and my perspective. And I was like, I need to figure out a way to promote it in a different way where it's not as unprofessional as that one that I tried using. So then I found a much better way to do it where it got me millions of views, but also converted into tons of sales. So as a lot of you guys probably know, there's a stereotype that schools in the United States have a lot of kids that bring, you know, the pew pews to school. So I've always seen jokes about it on social media, like TikTok or Instagram about videos like that. So instead of putting weird, nasty substances on the back of my phone for engagement. Instead, I use this where I would basically create controversy and engagement by making videos that would be like, oh, I brought my phone to school. I don't know why the teachers kicked me out. And what this basically did was people would comment about how Oh, obviously, if you bring something like this, then you're going to get kicked out. Or people will also comment making fun of it like, oh, average kid that goes to school in the US or like that one kid in the back of the class. And I also use captions or texts like the quiet kid in the back of the class. And so people would always find that very entertaining, interesting, and they would comment about it. And yes, while this isn't the most professional ad or video in the world, it's still converted into sales because this time I'm actually showcasing the product in the video. And this time the conversation in the comments or the algorithm is actually about the product itself in a realistic situation on when you would bring your product to school or whatever. It's actually related to the product this time instead where if you add a random substance to your product, it's nothing related to it at all. Also, here's a big thing you guys need to know as well that I had no clue about. My first sale did not come from TikTok. I thought TikTok had the better algorithm. I thought TikTok, you start getting views faster than Instagram Reels, but I actually ended up getting my first sales through an Instagram Reels and through Instagram instead of TikTok. So when you first start posting organic on TikTok, you start getting a couple hundred, couple thousand views right away. But when you start posting on Instagram Reels, you just get zero views for like a week or two straight. And so like I said, I posted on TikTok before and I tried posting on Instagram and got zero views. And so I basically told my friend like, hey, there's no point of you reposting it to Instagram Reels. Like it gets like zero views, I tried it. And then he was like, no, I tried it too. And like, I, I actually got a decent amount of views reposting it to Instagram Reels. And so I actually told him not to do it, but he kept doing it anyway. Because if you guys don't know, all you need to do is copy the link on your TikTok and you paste it into something like SnapTik and you can download the TikTok video without like the little TikTok watermarks on the corner of the screen. And then that way your video looks clean and then you just re-upload it to Instagram. This only takes a minute or two. And so after like two or three weeks, one of the videos on Instagram Reels, it actually ended up getting like 200, 300,000 views. And from this, I remember we got our first sale, which I'll play the clip. We went absolutely crazy. And part of the reason our reaction was that crazy where we're yelling and everything is because it was completely unexpected. We were actually sitting down talking about quitting this product or just quitting dropshipping in general and doing another business. And then we got the cha-ching sound on our phone. And at first I thought my friend was just watching a video on dropshipping and they just played that sound effect. But instead it was actually from our own Shopify store. And when we both got that sale on our phone and a notification, I actually was really, really confused at first. And I was just looking at him like, did you just do a test order? Like, did you put in your own card to get to see if it actually can get sales or not? And then we checked Instagram and the video went completely viral. But on Instagram, if you guys don't know, you can make it a business account and you can add the link to your store right away. Whereas on TikTok, you need a thousand followers to add a link. So on TikTok, we had like 400, 500 followers. And so we knew we didn't even have a link there. There's no way we got to sell from that. And we had no clue and didn't even think about Instagram. And on Instagram, it got 200, 300,000 views and we already had the link on there. And so even if we had like 200 followers, I think when the video started going viral, it actually converted into sales. And so by the end of the day, we got like four or five more sales. And so after this moment was when we really knew it's actually possible to make money with this, because before this, we we're trying this for weeks. We we're trying this for hours every single day, no sales, nothing to really show for it. You know, videos were just getting 
couple thousand views. But once we got our first sale and our first sales later that day, and the money actually deposited into our bank account, we actually knew. Like I said, we were literally talking about how we should maybe quit and do something else because we thought it's saturated. Like all these other people on social media were saying in like the comments of TikToks or YouTube videos, they're like dropshipping is super saturated. They're only saying that because they don't know how to do it. It's literally a skill issue. And because they just quit too early. Like I'm telling you guys right now, firsthand experience from that moment. And also over the years, dropshipping has literally changed my life. And I'm telling you right now, it's a real business. You can still make money with this. And so, yeah, that's basically how I had my first successful product, my first successful store, my first successful ads, my first successful sales. And then, like I said, from here on out, I basically recreated the same idea, multiple different videos, different angles, slightly different text. And then we hit a decent amount of numbers. And then I just reinvested it into paid advertising on TikTok and Facebook to scale the product. And I actually could have hit six figures with this product. It, this could have been my first six figure product, but I actually ended up selling the store because what happened was people kept reporting some of our videos. They kept getting taken down, a lot of restrictions. And even though on most of them, we would appeal it and win it at a certain point, it's just like we we're getting shadow banned left and right just annoying to deal with and so it just caused a whole obstacle so instead i just sold it and moved on to my next product which is actually my first six-figure product that i've ever had if you guys actually want another video where i go over my first ever six-figure product then let me know and i can do that for you guys but anyways here's a big lesson that you guys need to learn and take away from this is that the video that went viral and got our first sales that stopped us from quitting was a video that I made, but my friend was the one that reposted it onto Instagram Reels, which actually got the views and got the sales. So even though that video was mine, he also contributed into getting our first sales because he's the one that put it on Instagram and he's the one that had that information that is good to repost to Instagram Reels. And so that just shows that if you're ever working with someone, there's always different values that you all bring to the table. And so something even as simple as just taking a minute or two out of his day to repost that to Instagram Reels, that literally changed everything. Because if I never got this first sell from that repost, I would have never made my first seven figures. I would have never made my first million dollars online. I would have never even bought my first car, my second car, my dream car. I would have never moved into my first apartment. I would still be in school, still be working a nine to five job at Panera because of something as small as reposting a TikTok video to Instagram Reels, which sounds pretty crazy, but something as small as that made all the difference because of that one sale it gave us the confirmation that firstly dropshipping is actually real it's not saturated and it actually still works and secondly it gave me the motivation and the success to continue to work and not just quit because obviously like i said if you're working for hours and weeks and days and no no money no results or no sales to show for it you kind of feel like you're wasting your time but i'm telling you guys right now your first ever sale or your first ever successful product or your store or your first ever viral video is the only thing that you're away from to making like 100,000, 1 million, 10 million online is literally that first ever sale or your first ever successful product. After you get your first sale, you already know how you got the sale. You already know how you made the video, how you picked the product, how you set up the store to get it. You do that again 10 more times, now you got 100 sales. But yeah, ever since I got my first sale, finally got a lot of different e-commerce businesses going. And a month or two after I got my first sale, I actually ended up buying my first ever car, which is a Nissan Altima, which I actually still have as just an everyday car. And after that, after I got a car, I think the week after I actually ended up moving into my own very first apartment by myself. And I also dropped out of high school as well. And then a couple months later, I kept working, I kept grinding. And I ended up getting my dream car, which is also on my YouTube. Some of you guys have probably seen it. Buying my dream $100,000 car, the C8 Corvette. And then a month or two after, I moved into a high-rise apartment in Miami. And the thing is, I did this all within the span of just one year. If you guys really just lock in for just a month for just a couple months or just even just a year is crazy like how much you can accomplish if you actually try and stay consistent and don't quit and so i hope by you guys seeing this video seeing my journey you guys can actually go out there and try this yourself and actually be able to accomplish your dreams or your goals. So I've actually started a mentorship program as well. If you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching or consulting, I'll leave a link down below. I've literally been able to mentor and change a lot of people's lives, whether they're kids, 
adults, teenagers, whatever. But anyway, besides that, and besides getting things for myself, like my cars or my apartments, I've actually been able to help out people like my sister as well. Been able to pay off a lot of her college debt, help her with living expenses, and also things like being able to get my little brother anything he wants for his birthday, presents, or anything. Obviously, since I didn't have that when I was a kid, I like giving that to people so that they don't have to go through what I went through. And I've also been able to take my family on vacations as well. So I'm definitely glad I started and stuck with e-commerce and dropshipping and I actually gave it a try. Otherwise, I would still be going to school. I'd be in college in debt working a nine to five job forever. But lastly, I hope this was able to inspire you guys, motivate you guys, and actually show you guys that it's actually possible to become successful. But anyway, if you guys have any questions on anything, feel free to leave them down below. Or if you guys have a video you wanna see, then let me know. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications to see more, because I literally gave you guys all the information on exactly what I did that most of these people online gatekeep from you. But lastly, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna try not to cry. But anyway, I'll see you all in the next video.